Hello, this is Wes Fryer. It's Wednesday, April the 6th, 2016. And in this demo, I'd like to show you briefly how to install a new application on a Meraki mobile device manager so that you can load it up on iPads. Um, I am W Fryer on Twitter, and if you find this useful or have any questions, you can reach out to me via Twitter, and that might be the fastest way to get in touch with me. So, a couple things. We are using Apple Configurator at school to configure our iPads and uh, the last two weeks they just came out with Configurator 2 which we are now using basically to just put a uh, mobile device management profile and the password to a hidden uh, Wi-Fi network or, or SSID uh, so that we don't have to manually enter those and it makes it a little faster to get our iPad set up. We're not loading our apps through Configurator, we are doing that through our mobile device manager. Now there's a variety of mobile device managers that you can use. We we have a Cisco Meraki wired and switched, well, switched and wired as well as wireless network here at Cassidy School, our school. And so uh, part of Meraki is a mobile device manager, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate now. So I guess the first thing I'll mention is the app. So this is an app that's free that I'm going to use as an example. Uh, it's called Beatwave. And so we're just going to put this, this is kind of neat for students uh, being able to create their own music, that kind of like synthesizer music with sound patterns. Patterns. I've used that with uh, elementary STEM students in the past. And up here in the uh, address, when I've uh, found this online, there's a number here after the ID before the question mark. That is the actual ID number of this particular app. And this is something I found makes it easier to find and when you're ready to add apps. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that number, again, that's between ID and question mark when you find the app in the uh, Apple iTunes store just on the web. And then I'm going to go over to our mobile device manager. And the way that I got to this was I went to dashboard.meraki.com and then I logged in with my username and password. Now, there's several different networks that we have. This is looking at our wireless network. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to iPad, which is the name of the mobile device management network that I have set up for our devices. And so the way this works is um, you're going to come into um, the... Uh, systems manager and then underneath MDM you'll see apps and that's what you want to select so that you'll be able to view the apps which are currently under management so all of the apps that you see here whether they're free apps or they're paid apps are, are apps that we have added here and we're actually pushing two devices through Meraki. Now, I'm not going to cover in this particular screencast um, how to do a paid app. That is a little bit different because I have to go to Apple and I purchased that with a volume discount license and I add it similarly, but it's a little different. I'm going to do a free app in this case. And so because this app is not one that we have... Um, done before. I can try to search for Beatwave and see. No, it's not, not one that we have out of these 77 apps. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say add new and this is going to be a new iOS app. Okay. Now, this is where I go ahead. I could search by the name, but I'm going to just paste. I actually use the keyboard shortcut, but I could, I can copy or I've already copied it. I can paste in the app and rather than clicking search, I'm going to say look up by ID. And so I found that is faster because sometimes it's challenging when you're searching in the iTunes App Store or the Apple App Store or here and so it's just great to, to do it by the ID. So I found the app, here it is, it's free, I can go ahead and click Add. Now, I don't want to click Save yet because that would push this app to every single device that we are currently managing on our network. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to change the scope. So here by scope I'm going to say with any of the following tags and I have different tags that correspond to iPads that are used by different teachers. For instance, this is going to go on some iPads that Miss Vic is using in lower division and the tag that I have set up for her is Vic LD. So when I select that tag it tells me down here there are six clients in that scope. And so now when I click Save Changes, those particular iPads, these iPads right here, are going to be receiving that particular app. Now, I can see here under Status that there are six clients that are missing it. Sometimes I've found it's helpful to go ahead and click Repush to All, and that can assist. Um, but it's also possible on the actual iPad itself to... Um, 
go ahead and uh, choose Meraki and you can choose to download the apps there. So here's a quick demonstration of how the download should work when you push this to your devices with Meraki. Uh, I am going to go ahead and open up my iPad here and I get a pop-up window saying hey you need to enter your password uh, because I haven't chosen to save the password for free apps and it's probably a good idea not to do that on your student iPads because otherwise students can go into the App Store and they can just download apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this password in and I'll obscure it so hopefully you won't see it here on the screen and after I've got this password entered I'm gonna click OK and so now this app should go ahead and down load automatically to my device. Now, if it pops up and says save password items for free items on your own personal iPad, that's fine, but I would recommend saying no because you don't really want students just going into the App Store and downloading free apps because uh, you're going to end up with a ton of games and other things probably that students are going to download. So this app is going to go ahead and download. Now by default, if, if it hasn't been on this device before and, and in a location, it's probably going to put itself on the, the, the free screen after your front screen. I like to configure iPads where every app is, is just on the front screen. So I'm going to hold down my finger and I'm going to move it over and then I can either just leave it out uh, or I actually think I'm going to put it in the stem folder um, which is kind of it's kind of steamy there since it's going to be an app for doing music. Um, but then it's going to be available and download and I'll press the home button to stop those apps from jiggling around. So that shows you how that should work if you have um, uh, if you have uh, pushed an app via Meraki. Uh, so last little demo here, let's say that your iPad didn't just pop up and say, hey, you know, download the app. Uh, what do you do? Well, you can go ahead and open up, and I have this in an extras folder, the Meraki MDM um, program. And so that shows what kinds of apps have been pushed you know, to your device. And here at the bottom, if you tap on apps and you scroll down, it'll show things that are missing. Now, for some reason, this is showing more apps being missing than are actually missing. But here I can see BeatWave and it has a cloud. So I can go ahead and tap there on the cloud by BeatWave, and then it will go ahead and pull that app down. And so this is definitely the way uh, for paid apps that you want to download them, it is possible to use a password that you have and download free apps, you know, just within the App Store. But it's really better in our circumstance uh, situation to use our mobile device manager, our Meraki, and then go ahead and download apps that way. So that app again is probably going to download on the screen that's after this page, and I'll have to go ahead and move it over. Um, but that should be. Um, the way to download that. Now if I have trouble with this and I need to troubleshoot this, I can quit all the apps on the device and I can restart um, and, and that you know usually is going to fix some issues because what this needs to do is basically refresh because I do actually have uh, all of, of these apps, or mo well, I guess maybe Bubbly's not on there, but I have pretty much all of these apps installed. It's just that there's, there's an issue between the, the synchronization of the Meraki uh, app here and then you know what's actually on the device. So, hope that's been helpful to you. Good luck as you work on pushing apps and managing apps at your school or other location.